What's going on, Yugi gals and girls? We're here. I'm Philip Martinez, first of all. Um, player One's Newsweek's Player One, I should say. And we're here to open up some more. It's been a while since we've been done this. It's been a while. It's been a while since my whole shtick has been a little muddled up today. But we have a few products from the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. Konami was nice enough to send us these two. Um, the Movie Pack Special Edition, based on the movie that came out last year, I believe. Decent movie. And then... This one's really cool. The Megaton. This one is fe featuring Jaden. There's two of them. Um, this one is Jaden. The other one is Yusei from the 5Ds anime. And they're both out right now. The Megatons go for 20 bucks each. And the Movie Pack Special Edition is like 10 And they come with some great exclusive cards. Some variant stuff. So I'm looking forward to opening these bad boys up. I wish we got Yusei personally. But, you know, Jaden's not bad. What can I say? So, what should I open up first, Rocco? Let's uh, do... This one? Okay, this one looks easier to open. We'll do the movie pack first. Again, these are already out today. You can get them wherever you get your cards. For like 10 Target. bucks. Target, you could, yeah. I see. Uh, let's see what's in the back. We got three Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dark Side of Dimensions movie packs. One of two ultra-rare iconic monsters from the Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dark Side of Dimensions movie. And one of two ultra rare variant cards. So you get one of these and one of these. So it looks like this Dark Magician and Blue Eyes. And then these two monsters. Which I can't tell what they are. But we'll find out soon. So let's go. Oh, I already know which one we got. So <laughs> let's see. Here's the two variant cards. You get, eh, we got Blue Eyes. There's a nice new artwork for Blue Eyes. This is like the fifth different one I think he's had. So that's a cool one. And then this one is Crystal Dragon. Once per turn, then your battle phase. If this card battle this card turn, you can add one level 8 dragon type monster from your deck to your hand. Works well, because this guy's a level 8. So you get this guy right off the bat. So you've run blue eyes, white dragon decks. You want to get this pack. So let's see. We got three packs here. There are five cards in each. Let's just open these bad boys up. I think I remember these these packs coming out during the movie when the movie was released, so he's a little old, I suppose. Oh, look at it. Oh, Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. <laughs> Cannot be normal summon or set. Must be first special summon from your hand by revealing one Blue Eyes White Dragon in your hand. You can only special summon Blue Eyes Alternate Dragon once per turn. This way, this card's name becomes Blue Eyes White Dragon. While it's on the field or in a graveyard, once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent controls. Destroy it. This card cannot attack this turn. So it's pretty much a regular blue eyes with that added effect, which is actually pretty good. So you get one destruction no matter what. But you can't attack, so it's all good. Next, Kaiser Voice Raider. This is like the beefed up version of Voice Raider. If you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, this card gains 500 attack. If this card is destroyed by battle, this, the monster that destroyed it loses 500 attack. So the change is, this is a 5 star monster now. Instead of just a four star vanilla. Pretty good though. Next, Crystal Avatar. When an opponent's monster declares a direct attack, if its attack is greater than or equal to your life point, you're supposed to summon this card in attack position as an effect monster, a warrior type, blah, blah, blah. That has an attack equal to your life points, then change the attack's target to this card. This card also is also treated as a trap card. If this card summoned this way is destroyed by battle, after damage, calc, inflict damage to your opponent equals to his attack. That's pretty good. One opponent monster could, yep. So you can stop the attack, have him attack that instead, and inflict some damage. All right, here we go. Buster Gundil, the cubic behemoth. This is the, the villain of the movie's cards. Cannot be normal summon set, must be special summon from your hand by sending three cubic monsters you control to the graveyard, and cannot be special summoned by other ways. If summoned this way, this card gains 3,000 attack. This card can make a second and third attack each battle phase. If this card is in your possession, it's sent to your graveyard by your opponent's card by this battle by battle or card effect. You could target up to three cubic monsters in your graveyard. Special summon them. Then you can add one cubic card from your deck or graveyard to your hand. It's pretty powerful. If you've done an attack and you get like three attacks, pretty bad. Uh, I have this one. Lemon Magician Girl. Once per turn, you can tribute one Magician Girl monster except Lemon Magician Girl. Add one spellcaster type monster from your deck to your hand. Once per turn, if this card is targeted for an attack, you can special summon one spellcaster type monster from your hand, but its effects are negated. Then change the attack's target. 
And if you do the attacking monster attack, it becomes half its current attack. It's pretty good. The other ones are really good, so maybe we'll get those two. That's pack number one. Let's see. Back here again. Uh, whoa, Lord Gaia, the Fierce Knight, if you like Gaia. If your opponent controls a monster and you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. Once per turn, if a monsters or monsters with attack higher than this card are special summoned to your opponent's field, you can make this card gain 700 until the end of this turn. So it becomes 3,000. Okay, like Gaia, that's the card. Let's see. <clears throat> Dig of Destiny. When you take battle damage, draw one card. If this card is in this owner's control is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you could draw cards equal to the number of Dig of Destiny in your graveyard. Not bad. A lot of draw power. Next, got this guy again, Crystal Avatar. Uh, Marsh Macaroon, I guess. Like a macaroon. Yeah, like a macaroon almost. Yeah, it looks like Marshmallow. Um, if this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon up to two other Marsh Macaroon from your hand deck and our graveyard you can only use this effect once per turn and last palladium oracle mahad this is like a little shiny cards i know a beefed up dark magician when you draw this card you can reveal this card supposed to summon it from your hand if this card battles a dark monster its attack is double during the damage step only if this card is destroyed by battle or card effect you can supposed to summon one dark magician from your hand deck or graveyard pretty op <laughs> it's like here you go boom Draw it, automatically summon it. Let's see. And the last one. Are you ready? Are you guys ready? Dig a Destiny again. And then we get Magician's Defense. While you control a spell to caster type monster, any damage you take is halved. You cannot have the same damage twice this way. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can target one spell caster monster in your graveyard special to summon it. That's pretty good. And let's see. Boom. Another Kaiser Voice Raider. We had him in the first pack. Uh, Dark Garnix, the Cubic Beast. Cannot be normal summon or set, must first be supposed to summon from your hand by sending one cubic monster you control to the graveyard. If summoned this way, this card gains a thousand attack. When this card destroys a monster by battle, you can target up to two vil Vigin, the Cubic Seed, in your graveyard. Send this card to the graveyard, and if you do special summon them, then you can add one. Blade Garudia, the cubic beast, from your deck to your hand. Crazy names from the crazy villain archetype. All right, last one. Spiritual Swords of Revealing Light. Continuous Trap. Once per attack, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can pay 1,000 life points and negate that attack. During your opponent's turn, you can banish this card from your graveyard. This turn, your opponent's monsters cannot attack directly. Not too bad. All right, so those are pretty good. That's actually a pretty good... So if you have a lot of blue eyes cards or dark magician cards, you would probably want to pick this one up. If you're interested in the cubic monsters, I suppose, from the villain, you can pick those guys up too. Um, yeah. Don't forget you get these, one of these. It's got either the blue eyes or the dark magician, or you get crystal dragon. What's the other one? I can't even tell. I think it's one of the cubic monsters. Yeah, so if you really want the cubic card, you're probably going to have to pick one up. Crystal Dragon's pretty good, though. Oh, blue eyes. Blue eyes. Oh, blue eyes. All right. Let's go on to the next one. The Jaden Megaton. This is like 20 bucks. This one comes with, if you like the Neos cards and the Neo Spatians, this is the new Fusion that's coming out. It combines Grand Mole and Black Panther, I think, or Dark Panther. Yeah, so you automatically get him, but you get some other stuff in here as well. I wanted you say who gets another junk monster. Not, not that it's a terrible monster, but the archetype junks. And it's a synchro monster, so if you're really into synchros, you'll really want to get that tin as well. So yeah, let's open this bad boy. You get a nice tin as well. See, here we go. Plenty of space for other cars and stuff in there. That's where you hold all of them. All right, let's move on. <laughs> Look at that. We have three packs, and there's a bunch of cards in here. Wow. Oh. 
Oh boy. Oh. 16 cards. Oh no. We'll go through them as fast as possible. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go through these real quick. Real <clears throat> nice though. This is the main bad boy. Elemental Hero Nebula Neos. Right? It's uh, Grand Mole and Dark Panther with Elemental Hero Neos. Uh, must be spelled, you know, the, no, you don't need polymerization. You just bring a mess contact fusion. If this card is special summoned from the extra deck, draw cards equal to the number of cards your opponent controls. Then negate the effects of one face of card on the field until the end of this turn. Once returned during the end phase, shuffle this card out. Okay. Shuffle this card into the extra deck, and if you do, banish all cards on the field face down. Wow. That's pretty powerful. <laughs> so I was like, all right, I'm here. I, I wreck stuff. It's 3,000 attack already. And then you he leaves the field and everything is banished. That's crazy. All right, so that's pretty good. Uh, here we go, we got Elemental Hero Solid Soldier. Here's the other. See? Elemental Hero Support. When this card is normal summon, you can special summon one level 4 or lower hero monster from your hand. If this card is sent from the monster zone to the graveyard by a spell effect, you can target one hero monster in your graveyard except Elemental Hero Solid Soldier. Special summon it in defense position. You can only use this effect once per turn. Okay, so this works for like Elements of Heroes, Destiny Heroes, Mask Guys, whatever. Alright, here we go. Keeper of Dragon Magic. If this card is normal or special summon, you can discard one card, add one polymerization normal spell card or fusion normal spell card from your deck to your hand. You can reveal one fusion monster in your extra deck, special summon one of the fusion monsters whose name is specifically listed on that monster from your graveyard and face down in defense position. You can only use this effect once per turn. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except fusion monsters. The turn you activate, this this is pretty good. This is like, um, ooh, what's his name? That crystal guy. <laughs> I don't remember. You guys will correct me in the comments, I'm sure. Uh, when you could just discard from the deck and you, they'll take the name. This is actually similar. But pretty good if you're running a lot of fusion monsters. Uh, speaking of, here's Mud Dragon of the Swamp. A worm. Two monsters with the same attribute but different types. Your opponent cannot target this card or monsters on the field with the same attribute as this card, with card effects. Once per turn, you can declare one attribute, this card becomes that attribute until the end of this turn. Alright, pretty straightforward. Fusions. Oh, and a Link monster, of course. Here's, oh, Arcana Joker. Uh, Link, three warrior monsters with different names. Once per turn, when a spell trap card or monster effect is activated that targets this face-up card on the field or monster this card points to, you can discard the same type of card, negate the activation. When this Link Summon card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one level 4 warrior normal monster from your deck. And if you do, add one level 4 warrior monster from your deck to your hand. So pretty good. If you like the Link's the warrior monster, this works with, with Neos and stuff like that. So those are the special cards you get in the Jaden deck. The Jaden 10, I should say. Yeah, because look, this one comes with three... Mega packs, elements of hearing nails, those cards. Each mega pack contains the secret randoms is all the from these different sets. And you say it has like a bunch of synchro support, so if you're into synchros, get that one. Let's see. Sixteen cards in these packs, by the way. So we'll try to get through them really quickly. I know Rocco's like, I can't hold my hands. Oh god. Okay, here we go. Doesn't hear a dangerous. He's in duel links too, if you like to play duel links. So that's that. I'm not gonna really go into some of these unless I'm really. I remember him. I'll just keep it on the thing for a while. I'm not gonna go through every effect. Uh, Boral Cooling. Pulse Mines. That's a good trap. Speedroid. Pendulums. FA Turbocharger. Hmm. I know when Rocco likes cards. Raikou? Okay, yeah, light swarm people. Whoa, here we go. Altergeist. Look at that shiny. Marionette. Marionette. Oh, quick launch. One rocket monster made deck, but I can't attack. Okay, not bad. Nope. Goki. Oh, I like to play Gokis. Good. I have this link. Duck dummy. I know this card. We've drawn this card you know, before. I, like I know. FA Sonic Meister. The FA cards that are pretty popular right now. World Legacy Landmark. 
link restart. So those link cards. Go, 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 Aristara and Dexira. And last one for this one. Oh, Jack Wyvern. So that's Mega Pack number one. Good cards. I'm happy with the Goki pull. That, that Link monster. Okay, let's get into the second one. Here we go, another 16 cards. Speed round. Smile Universe. Look at that card. Look at the art on that one. <laughs> then we got Sniffer Dragon. I remember getting cool. this one. What kinetic, what kinetic Puppeteer. Cool looking thing. Flick Clown. I read that wrong. I thought that said uh. something else. Don't read it too fast, people. <laughs> FA Turbocharger, FA Test Run, Mech Knight Red Moon, Trickstar Black Cat Bat. I think I got this one before. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool looking one. She's like, look at me. Whoa, Heavy Metal Foes Electromite. Whoa, that is shiny. Shiny. You know what I'm referring to. Oh, yeah, I'm a lot. Of course. Alter Guys Protocol. That's the best song. I actually don't like this song. <laughs> World Legacy Landmark. I never got that one before. Uh, Gravity Lash is the decent little tech card here. Gravity Lash. Showdown of the Secret Sense Scroll Techniques. Self-destruct ant. Backup secretary. Always need a backup. Always. And who doesn't want a secretary? And trading places. Wow, okay. Just switch them up. Okay. One more, guys. Thanks for being patient with us. I don't know how long we've been going for it so far, so let's keep it going. Last pack. FA Motorhome Transport. Here is... It's a motorhome. I don't understand this world of Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, so there's like electronics and oh, magic. Oh, everything. Yes, magic, dragons, wrestlers, dinosaurs, wrestlers. Everything. All things. Recovery Sorcerer. Yeah, don't, don't, don't try to understand it. Breakaway. Oh, they hate each other. There are, isn't that the Gemini Elves? They're twins. Oh, anyway. End of the world. This is an old school. Ooh. This is old school. I remember this card from a long time ago. <laughs> Emerging emergency rescue rescue. Oh my god. Look at that one. That's Rocco's favorite. Down to that team. <laughs> Link hole. Twin triangle dragon. A lot of links that we're getting in this in these packs. Whoa, true Draco heritage. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, Borolo Dragon. He's one of the better cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. Ooh, it's pretty good. Oh, other one. Ib, the World Chalice Priestess. I think it's Ib. Or is that 1B? You let us know. Fire Prison. Set Rotation. I love how mm -hmm. all the shiny cards are like in the middle of the pack. <laughs> Not the end normally. Like normally. Junk Breaker. Speaking of junks. During your main phase, if this card was normal, so when you turn, you can trigger this card. Okay. Do -do -do -do. Jack Wyvern. We got that one before. Capacitor Stalker. No. No? That one's scary. That one's scary. <laughs> that one's scary. And last but not least, I like World Legacy. Is that a Scorpion? I guess it is. Ooh. So, yeah, we have quite a few cards here, guys. Um, You got a lot of cards. For 20 bucks, you get the 10. You get five exclusive cards. And what is it, 16? 16 times 3 is what? 42? 48? 48. 48 cards. 
with a bunch of secrets and you know all that good stuff. Let's see if I can pull out the, the good ones. For twenty bucks, that's not too bad. All the really, really good ones. Let's see. Separate these guys for you. Boom. 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 And then the last one. The Goki one is my favorite. Goki. That's all. Yep. Yeah, so for that, that's not bad. Thanks again, guys. Hey, guys. <laughs> thanks again for uh, sticking with us in all these unpackings. Uh, thanks, Konami, again for sending us these products. And be sure to check them out wherever you get your Yu Gi Oh cards. Whether it's uh, Target, like you said, Walmart, comic book store, whatever, hobby shop. Go find them today. See you guys later.